How's it everybody? Let's take a good look at this question. So 2.1, name the type of scam where an email is sent to a customer pretending to be from a bank or financial institution. Possible answers here? Well, phishing or online scam. But phishing is the most correct answer. 2.2.1, uh, explain the following terms. So regenerative forms of energy. Um, these are sources of energy that are present in nature, such as the sun, wind, water, and wood. So they are continually replenished, replaced, thus should never run out. It, it is sustainable. A uh, cooling off period. So this is an amount of time or five business working days uh, that the law gives a consumer who has signed a contract uh, to cancel it uh, without reason. So it's like a like that little cancellation period, if I could put it like that. 2.3, explain how indirect taxes are collected from South Africans. Well, they are collected automatically by being included or hidden in the prices of goods or services. So they're collected and included in VAT, levies, fuel, excise duty, little things like that. So indirect taxes. 2.4.1, name the type of products that the seller sells in South Africa. So feel free to pause the video, have a look at it. These are going to be uh, gray goods or parallel imports. 2.4.2, explain how the seller imported the products to South Africa legally. So by paying import fees or custom duties through unofficial or authorized distribution channels brought in from another country without the consent of the manufacturing country. Now there's two possible answers there. Like I said, um, doing it legally by paying import fees and custom duties, or doing it through unofficial and unauthorized channels. 2.5, explain the difference between an exemption clause and an unfair business practice, so 2.5. An exemption clause is in a contract and it exonerates or clears one party from any liability. And an unfair business practice is when a supplier unfairly tries to influence or harass a consumer to do business with it. 2.6, explain the advantages of being part of a stock file in South Africa. So a stock file is um, it's legal because all members know how the money will be invested. It is a form of saving investment, a way of forcing or committing members to put away money each month with future benefits. So you give a bit of background and then start to answer the question. So all members are aware of the payout dates or when the benefits, uh, the benefits will be received. And all members agree on the risks that they are expected to take. So it's a good way of saving money. It's perfectly legal. Yeah, and you earn a bit of interest, get more money back than you actually invested. You know, time makes money. 2.7, uh, discuss how the functions of the washing machine help to reduce electricity consumption. So feel free to pause the video, just have a good read through this little text over here. So in 2.7, an energy efficient washing machine, uh, it actually uses less electricity. So definitely less electricity. Uh, it also has an option of a cold water wash, which means no electricity will be used to actually heat the water. So that's very important, cold water. Um, it also has a super quick function, uh, meaning it will be fast and use less electricity. And yeah, that, that should be about it to score all four marks there. You just needed four points, um, but here's like a bonus one. So the automatic... A uh, capacity detector will ensure that maximum loads are washed, the water level, the cycle type, uh, will be adjusted according uh, to the load size. So this automatic uh, switch water button. And yeah, little ways to reduce electricity. Nice video here.